people don't know who he is, though. Guess he's less famous than Paimon thought. Some people are saying good things and others bad. Especially that old guy just now. He... Uh... Hey! Are you okay? Uh, you don't look too good. The Matra. The Matra? I I'm Ilias. I have to talk to a Matra about something important. In the state you're in? You shouldn't push yourself. Why don't you tell us what happened and we'll pass on your message to a Matra? No, I have to tell them myself. They are the only ones I could trust. Sorry, can you lend me your arm? This is an important matter, Feel Since you put it that way, fine, we'll take you to Amatra. We promised to take him to Amatra, but we don't know that many, do we? <laughs> You two look familiar. Are you friends of Mahamatra Saino? Um, I'm afraid he's out on a mission right now. But if you'd like, I can pass whatever message you might have on to him. We ran into this guy by the gates, and he seems really eager to speak with Amatra. Oh? If you don't mind, why don't you tell me about it first? <sighs> Siraj. Siraj. That name sounds familiar. Isn't he a Vahumana researcher? Vahumana researcher? Yes, one of their most renowned, in fact. I hear he's as daring as he is intelligent. There are rumors he'll become Vahumana's next sage. Uh, but please continue, good sir. I want to report him for conducting a dangerous experiment. He kidnapped me, tied me up, and took me to that horrible cave. Experimental equipment everywhere. I ran as fast as I could, a little slower, and he would have caught me. There's no rush. Please, take your time. What kind of experiments was he conducting? Where is this cave? I don't remember. Huh? You can't remember? All I remember is Siraj walking towards me, and then my head started feeling... weird. It's like a nightmare that I can't recall. I just know that that place is dangerous, and that they must be stopped. Oh, I heard they conduct business in the tavern. We have to hurry. Even if what you say is... All right. I'll have some of my colleagues look into Siraj. But before that, I would like to administer the Matra lie detector test. You think I'm lying? Please don't take it the wrong way. This is just standard protocol. Sorry, but can you two wait out here a little while? We'll be back soon. Huh? I hate them! Let me bring you up to speed. First things first, Ilyas passed the lie detector test. This indicates that what he said is highly credible. As such, we've decided to launch an investigation based on the leads he provided. Per protocol, this matter was reported to acting Grand Sage Alhatham. After hearing about it, he left a message for Mahamatra Sino and then asked to join the investigation. Huh. It's kinda weird for you to be working with the Matra. Is there a special reason? You're overthinking things. My interest was piqued is all. Really? I'm unsurprised you have this much free time. In that case, let's join in Shall we, Traveler? It's already against protocol for Acting Grand Sage Alhatham to participate in this investigation. As for you two... Oh, never mind. After all, you were the ones who brought Ilyas here. I'll allow you to accompany us, but you have to promise to keep everything confidential. Don't you worry. Our lips are sealed. Alright, in that case, I'll fill you in on what we know so far. 
Ilyas claimed that Siraj will be conducting some business with a Kasharawa researcher at the tavern. This is one of his few clear memories. It seems he stumbled upon this information while escaping. Incidentally, Siraj isn't at the academia right now. He applied for long-term off-site research one month ago. It's close to the time that Ilyas had given, so we've decided to head to the tavern and investigate any suspicious persons. That's right. Arath, prepare to head out. You two, do as you will. Oh, come on! We already said they were coming! We're here, Acting Grand Sage Alhatham. What's our next course of action? Hmm. Acting Grand Sage Alhatham? Looks like you haven't read any memos lately. The new Academia Decree clearly states that even a sage doesn't have the authority to interfere with the Matra's actions during an ongoing investigation. If your superior were here, he wouldn't be asking me what to do. Instead, he'd be telling me to stay out of the way. You're right. Understood. Then please wait here as we lock down the perimeter and search for suspicious persons. Ilyas, please stay here. Acting Grand Sage Alhatham, I'll have to trouble you with the protection of our primary witness. <sighs> sure. Though I'd rather he just protect himself. Answering a simplistic question only enables the questioner. Besides, I need him to understand my position clearly. Arav has just as many doubts about my coming along as you do. But unlike you two, he's making this matter more complicated than it is, with his considerations like the acting Grand Sage is trying to seize the Matra's powers. That question was obviously bait. The Matra were once under the influence of the Sages, and so were often subject to these bureaucratic traps. The test was strictly unnecessary, though. I hope that our exchange will assure him that I won't interfere with their work this time. Ugh, why is this so complicated? This is why I was against becoming the Acting Grand Sage from the very first. Titles and rank inevitably make a lot of things more troublesome than usual. Excuse me, Acting Grand Sage Alhatham. I've had a question on my mind, and I need to know the answer no matter what. Have we met before? No. I have no recollection of ever meeting you. Ha <laughs> ha! I thought so too. <clears throat> I probably wouldn't have had anything to do with someone of your caliber. Then why did you ask? Well, for some reason I felt a sense of familiarity when I met you for the first time. Really? A misperception, perhaps. Or... Acting Grand Sage Alhatham, we've apprehended a suspect. Siraj? No, it's the Kasharawa researcher who has dealings with him. His name is Narendra. S Acting Sage Alhatham? Wait, uh, can someone please explain what's going on? I admit that I, I did steal some mechanical components from the lab and sell them, but does something like that really warrant the personal interest of the acting Grand Sage? Wh what have I got myself into? I, I know I let Greed get the best of me, but, but, but please, I promise that this won't ever happen again. I would like to ask him a few questions. Of course. Do you know Siraj? Yeah, that's the name of my buyer. He asked to make the transaction at the tavern, but he never showed up. What were the details of this transaction? 
He's doing some kind of experiment that seems to require many power generators and electrical components that can only be found in our project. He contacted me in private and said that he'd pay a large sum of Mora if I was willing to put some aside for him, under the pretense of them being defective parts. We had originally agreed to meet at the tavern earlier today to do the trade. I sure didn't expect to get stood up, or run into you all. Perhaps Siraj was aware that Ilyas might leak information, so he intentionally didn't show up. Whatever the case, it seems that this lead ends here. The good news is, regardless of what Siraj was planning, his progress will now be severely hindered by a lack of power generators and electrical components. We still have time to conduct our investigation. Do you have any more questions for the suspect? No. He's all yours. But I'd like to borrow Ilyas for a while. Oh, that's fine. We conducted a comprehensive lie detection exam, which showed that he has a genuine case of amnesia. We're not planning to pursue any further breakthroughs on that front. However, I am curious. What do you need him for, exactly? I've read some papers regarding amnesia, and I'd like to try restoring his memories. I see. We'll be returning to the Academia, then. I'll leave Ilyas in your care. Follow me.